Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Doja with all of the Doja music. We were supposed to cover the song More Than a Woman today, but um, instead we're gonna do Cali. More Than a Woman still getting mixed and mastered. Okay, first thing I started off with was this VST called VPS Avenger. And it's pretty dope. What I use is called Lo-Fi Roadie. Okay, just quick, real quick, showing you what this was about. Let's get this guy out of here. Big old VST all over the screen. Okay, so that was the first thing I started with. Then I went to the same sound, except I needed it to emphasize on the bottom end. So what I use was a plugin called Halftime. So it chops it in half. So instead of what you just got done listening to, it sounds like this now. And that is it cut in half. So both of them together. gives you a better groove <laughs> so next uh, next plugin we went to that's right I, I kept with the, the Avenger stayed with Avenger and was more like a piano type steel drum so I went ahead and played something along with it so for the chorus that was definitely going to be the chorus part because it's extra on it mm -hmm. okay from that I went to Omnisphere. Now, Omnisphere, it's a big plug-in. It's real heavy. It takes a minute to come up. And there it is. Omnisphere. This is what I use for the bass line. It's a pretty good VST. I use Big and Clicky, too, for this one. So I went ahead and add that to it. Now we got all four of them playing. We got a pretty good groove for the chorus, the hook. Okay. So now we brought in the kick. got so many uh, drums to choose from over here to the left sometimes it takes a minute to find that right kick or the right snare to go with what you're doing the project that you're working on sometimes going to look for a kick or a snare can be kind of extensive so you know for the most part sometimes I'm, I create my own kicks you know, to make them hit properly, hit the way I want them to hit. So, I mean, there's like so many kicks that you can go through. I mean, 
same thing same thing with uh snares as well i mean you can uh got these dozer kits here but yeah it, it sometimes it gets a little extensive looking for a uh certain kick or snare or hi-hat hi hi so they all can like mesh together they all coincide with each other and blend <laughs> Added a clap. Then I added, uh, I had this, um, it's like a hi hat that pans from left to right, but it, uh, it's a little different, it hits a little different. So I kind of added it with a regular hi-hat, which was, that's why I think I labeled it different. So now we got, let's see that thing go. Uh-huh. Then I added in something, to, a, a second hi-hat on top of that one to make it blend. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I could have, I could have made this, this like a, an average hi-hat to where that would have sounded like, uh, let me get that there. That's an average hi-hat. That's what it would be just regular. But instead, we got this right here. I use what you call a cutter tool, cutting tool. I move them around to give it a little bit, you know, more diversity to it. Also, using a pan, to go back and forth to, these are my speakers right here, left and right speakers. So, just to make it uh, hug that uh, kick drum a little bit better. Stays with the groove. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was hitting. Hitting real thin, so I added a snare with it, which was the a little bit more pop. Add some more pop to it. Uh -huh. Okay. Then I added at the very tail end somewhat like it is another snare like a roll definitely a roll so now all together and I had to put a crash to top it off That's where that halftime comes in handy right here because it kind of slows down the whole groove. Get back together. This is all the verse. Of 
chorus. So this particular beat went in with the intro, eight bars. And starting them off with the chorus. And then straight to the verse. All right. Now see sometimes Sometimes I'll create I'll create a beat and I won't even call it I'll, I'll call it whatever I'm feeling. I don't even know what this song is going to be half the time because me and Oliver are in two different places. He's way out in California, I'm not way out here in Atlanta. So like I'll make a beat and I may call it Sunshine or something, and he's going to take this beat and take it and turn it in, into whatever the writing comes out to be. So. That's pretty much how our songs are created. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe down below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Just got the call, it's going down tonight.